Today we're exploring the Museum of Florida History in Tallahassee, a couple blocks away from downtown. It's free, so we're not really sure what to expect, but let's check it out. This mastodon skeleton right behind me is 28 million years old. Puts things into perspective. gold from the bottom of the ocean and they found it and I just want it all. When I saw this, I knew it was the fort that we visited a couple weeks ago. The museum is really fantastic. I keep saying I can't believe it's free because there's so much in here. Um, it's the whole history of Florida. So it's starting at the very beginning, the natives living here through colonization and then becoming a British territory. Now we've passed through the Civil War and it just keeps going. And it's really great, lots of interaction for the kids. The kids are actually following the scavenger hunt, which is kind of cool. Probably the best room in the whole place is Grandma's attic. It's just after the citrus room. The girls found it, we didn't even notice it. It's a whole playroom for kids. Dress up and toys to play with. Fantastic idea. Hello. Okay. Bye. -bye. Rachel's gonna give Mariah a little bit of a history lesson. From my history. Are you ready? Yeah. Before there was internet, to learn about the world and what was happening, you had encyclopedias. Uh -huh. And you could look up maps, and you could learn about all kinds of information. But each one, so this is just the letter F, and you'd have a book for every letter of the alphabet. And every year they'd come out with new ones, with new information. Um, So a lot of people think that electric cars are a new fad of the 21st century, but these cars right back here were electric back in 1911. It was fun to see that the first RVs started popping up around 1920, just built onto the back of Model T Fords. And they were called tin can campers because the people would be eating out of tin cans as they traveled. Because so many tourists were coming into Florida with these campers, local businesses started opening up campgrounds specifically for them, and that's how the first RV parks got started.
gonna eat your head off. The museum was actually really cool, especially for being free. Now we're gonna head over a couple blocks away to explore a park and hopefully get some dinner. We're grabbing a bite to eat at the Edison, which is right downtown, right on the edge of Cascade Park. And we showed up at happy hour time, so $4 drinks. Best mojito I've had in a long time. And we're kind of turning into the old people of Florida, I guess. We're eating dinner at like 4.30, 5 o'clock. I'm experimenting with a mango beer. This is the Proof Mango Wit, which is actually from a local brewery here in Tallahassee. Mango-y. 